Hi guys, it's Sophie from Just Fabrics and today we're going to show you how to make a draft excluder for your door. For today's make we have used the Nader green and blue wide width fabric and the Cotswold velvet Air Force fabric. You will also need some pins, a tape measure, scissors, a sewing machine, a ruler, some tailor's chalk, a needle and thread and some filling or interlining. Also 500 grams of rice or lentils. The first thing you need to do is cut out your main piece of fabric. This will be a piece that is the length of your door by 24 centimetres. So use a piece of tailor's chalk or a pencil to mark this out and then cut out the piece. For the end pieces, you need to cut out a circle that has a diameter of seven centimetres. We're using a glass that's around about this size to create a template. And then I'm gonna draw around and cut it out. Once you've cut out all the pieces, you're going to use the long piece and fold it over with right sides together and pin along the long edge and then stitch it. When you stitch the long edge of the draft excluder, make sure you leave a gap so that you can turn it right side out at the end. Once you've cut the circles out, we're going to pin the circles to the end of the long draft excluder and then you need to repeat with the other end. Sew along the pinned edges. Now that you've stitched both the ends, you need to turn the draft excluder right side out. Next thing you need to do is to fill your draft excluder. Ideally, you want to use something heavy, so either weights, gravel, rice, lentils. I'm going to use lentils, and then I'm also going to use some curtain interlining, which I'm going to roll up and feed inside the draft excluder. You could also use fabric scraps or hollow fibre filling, which you can buy from craft stores. Basically anything soft that can go on top of the weights. Once you put the interlining or filling into the draft excluder, you want to pull the remaining lentils into the gap and shake these around so that they're evenly distributed. Once you finish filling the draft excluder, what you want to do is pin up the raw edges where the gaps are and slip stitch them closed. And now you've got your finished draft excluder. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this make. There are lots more how-to guides on the website and on our social media.